Hey guys, welcome to day two of our four night canoe trip through Killarney Provincial Park. Yesterday was absolutely awesome. We were able to cover a lot of ground. We made it deep into the heart of the park, away from any other groups. We even had the whole lake to ourselves last night, which is always a great bonus. Today is scheduled to be our furthest day as we've planned to cover the most amount of kilometers we'll have ever done as a group. Our route will have us travel north from Harry Lake through Frank to Panache Lake, across to Bassoon, down through High, and finally into Bear Lake where we'll spend our second night. so far as you can see in the background the mist of the fog still on the lake the sun hasn't even risen up high enough to clear that away yet so I'm just taking down the food barrel out of the tree uh, which we store up there to keep hungry bears out and I'm about to start on a nice hearty egg breakfast to hopefully fuel us for our long day ahead we've been doing these canoe trips as a group long enough now that we know as soon as breakfast is over, it's best just to divide and conquer. So some of us will start taking down the tents, some of us will start cleaning up after breakfast, others will get the canoes ready, and so on. You can see here, we're just packing up the big blue bag. It's our dry bag. It allows us to keep every its contents completely dry if we were to ever tip the canoe. So we put things in there like our sleeping bags and air mattresses. We managed to pack up and get off our site around 10.15 a.m. And uh, we quickly made it across our first portage, which took us into Frank Lake. And then we quickly made it across Frank, as it's quite a small lake. Come on, Jeff, you can do it. The two short portages between Harry Lake and Panache Lake were relatively flat and easy to get across. However, there was some large mud pits along the way, which made traveling at this time of the year a little bit tricky. As we started to leave the park boundaries, we could see a lot more evidence of human activity. We came across a lot of ATV tire tracks. Uh, we even stumbled into two snowmobiles stashed in the bushes, uh, tin boats and shotgun shells. However, someone had also built a dock at the end of the portage into Panache Lake. A dock? It's luxury. So we took full advantage of this little dock and easily loaded all of our gear into the canoes. Once everything was loaded, we had quite a long paddle ahead of us until our next portage at the end of Panache Lake. All in all, it took us approximately 55 minutes to get from our campsite on Harry Lake to the end of our second portage, which took us into Panache Lake. We took our time paddling across Panache. As the sun was out, there was almost no wind, so the lake was nice and calm. And also we knew our next portage was gonna be over two kilometers long. As far as portages go, this long one between Panache Lake and Bassoon Lake was your average backcountry portage with some rocks and some hills and also a few mud pits along the way, of course.
best part of a long portage? The light at the end of the tunnel, or in this case, the next lake, which was Bassoon Lake. Hooray! We made it here around 1.40 p.m. and decided it was the perfect opportunity to stop for a rest and to make up some lunch. While we were sitting here, we actually bumped into another canoer and his dog. He was from a nearby cottage on Panache Lake and oddly enough, knew one of our group members. just rafted up here discussing the best possible campsites according to the map. We are on Bear Lake currently, which is the lake we will be setting up camp on tonight. We've truly lucked out with the weather. It has been absolutely gorgeous today. A little bit cool, but the sun's been out and it's been relatively clear and wind free. So paddling this long 18 kilometers has been relatively easy. At this point in the day, we have traveled across five portages, uh, approximately three and a half kilometers in total in length. So we're pretty excited to get to camp here. We really want to get set up first, get a quick little fire going, get our blood pumping and uh, get warm before we decide to jump in the lake. As we found out very quickly, the lake, this large lake, is quite cool so to get the blood pumping we started gathering firewood chopping it all up and even got the fire going before we decided to jump in we'd planned for today to be our longest day and it ended up taking us approximately seven hours to go from our campsite on Harry Lake to our campsite here on Bear Lake but nothing feels better than a quick swim after a long day's paddle it did take us some time to build up our courage, but we eventually all jumped in. But the ice bath was totally worth it. As we dried off and warmed up here around the campfire, it was all jokes and laughter. And with the setting sun in the background, we roasted up some sausage and some rice over the open fire. And we were finally able to sit back, relax, enjoy a nice hearty dinner as we chill around the campfire in good company. Hey guys, thanks a lot for tagging along with us on our canoe trip through Killarney Provincial Park. We hope you enjoyed it and check out our video of day three to see where we end up next.